accurate strength test for concrete, grout, and masonry specimens in the form of cylinders, beams, cubes, and other shapes, begin with proper curing as required by ASTM and ASTO standards. And yet, one of the most common errors found in CCRL audits is the inability to maintain specified curing temperatures and moisture levels. Moisture rooms, moist cabinets, and concrete curing tanks are all acceptable methods for curing. Size of moisture rooms range from a small closet to a large room. They can be prefabricated modular units or constructed in place using masonry blocks or moisture resistant materials. Moisture rooms using standalone foggers require a separate method of controlling temperature to the specified 73.4 degrees Fahrenheit and the Gilson HM630 moisture room control panel automatically keeps your curing environment at precisely 73.4 degrees Fahrenheit with 100% humidity and is designed to be used with the HMA 298 atomizing spray heads. For smaller test specimens, the Gilson MA236R moist cabinet is a compartmented storage cabinet with controlled temperature and relative humidity to ensure that the exposed surfaces of all specimens will look and feel moist in accordance with ASTM and ASTO standards. The MA236R has an 11 cubic foot capacity curing chamber and a heated triple pane tight fitting glass door to minimize condensation for easy observation of curing specimens. Heat is provided by two 600 watt wire round elements and cooling is supplied by a quarter horsepower non-CFC compressor. A steam generator provides controlled chamber humidity up to 95%. Water storage units make ideal curing tanks for a limited number of specimens. This method can be a good alternative to moist rooms or cabinets, especially for temporary or field applications. Water temperatures must be maintained at the same level as moist rooms. Gilson offers a range of plastic and steel curing tanks. Gilson's plastic curing tanks provide greater adaptability than full-scale moist curing rooms and at less expense. While the Gilson zinc-coated galvanized steel curing tanks have an extra strong crush-proof rim and a rugged seal seam to prevent leaks. Gilson also offers a curing tank heater with a dial type thermometer designed to maintain the required curing temperature and the curing tank circulator that gently circulates the water at three gallons per minute. Gilson also offers the Gilson heater circulator designed to keep the required curing temperature at 73.4 degrees Fahrenheit while the adjustable flow controller circulates the water for more consistent temperatures throughout the curing tank. Regardless of your desired concrete curing practice, ASDM standards require that specimen storage must be configured such that the specimen surface looks and feels moist. For any questions about curing your concrete test specimens, or for any Gilson product, please contact the Gilson Technical Support Team.